the modern kind of pressure from the world is every quarter we have to publish our results and you have to show profits. And every quarter you have to better than the quarter last year, you have to better to a sequential quarter, the previous quarter. <coughs> yes. Yeah, so this is a pressure that you find, but you, what about investments? But you are making investments for the longer period, you are buying a company which may not turn around for the next 10 years. But if you do not, for example, our electric vehicle company, Reva, this is not a company that is going to give you immediate return. So how do we convince that I am doing the right thing, after all it is his money, I should have returned the money to him, instead of him I am acting as the trustee to invest this money. But I have to make him feel, how do you, you know, I am not giving him dividend next quarter, next quarter or the quarter after, but I am going to give it after 5 years, he may have a choice to go to somewhere else, right. So how do we communicate? The whole thing is uh, in this communication. The world today is looking whether it is in life, in personal life or in public life, it is about communication, what you are communicating. So adverse circumstances can be turned into opportunities by communicating <coughs> and honesty is what the investors expect. If you are honest, they play ball with you. If you are going to say that I am going to have a huge future, do not worry, I am acquiring this company, then two quarters I will return, you will turn around. In the second time you say that they will disbelieve you, in the third time they will move away from you, in the fourth time they will advise others not to buy you, okay, if you are not performing. But if you are saying, look I have a philosophy, in Mahindra's we communicate to the investors, we have a policy, we are not for short term. We are investing in, we have a history, look at where we invested, how we turned them around. And what I am investing in the future, for example, diesel and petrol, how long will I depend on diesel and petrol? It is something that the world is <coughs> moving away from. We are moving towards public transport, we are moving towards more interconnected cities which will have metros and other things rather than cars, Singapore for example. We want to reduce carbon, okay. So I cannot. I have to invest in something else and how do I do that? So this is the plan and I have to clearly say this is the probability. I may succeed to this extent, I may not succeed to this extent. I have also to communicate to the external world, it is not only to avoid risks I am in this business, I am in this business to take affordable risks. So how do I communicate that I am a business and business means I have to take risks. Do I take the right kind of risk for the right period and how do I hold myself up for that period? You can evaluate me on this communication. For example, when we invested in uh, uh, the two-wheeler business, we told the world, look, we are going to reach one million two-wheelers in this number of years, maybe four years, five years. Watch us on this. So we give a metric to them. So it is about communication. It is about holding you up.